Hello and good day. In this video, we will take a look on how to calculate correlation analysis using Excel and how to interpret the result. On your screen, I will be giving you a two variables. For example, the first variable, variable that I will be using is the amount of nitrogen. Of nitrogen. Then, the second variable is the yield, which is in kilogram per hectare. Okay, I just need to expand this cell to make it clearer for you. Okay, for the amount of nitrogen, it's I will be yeah, will be in percent nitrogen. Okay. Okay, for example, for the amount of nitrogen, we will have four different percentages of nitrogen applied. Okay, twenty. For ex the first example is twenty-five percent. The another is fifty percent of nit. Another is seventy-five and one hundred. Okay, for these different amounts of nitrogen applied, it has an equivalent yield. For example, for 25%, it has 250 kilogram of crop yield per hectare, 325 kilogram per hectare. For 75, it has 365 kilogram per hectare. And for 100, it has 390 kilogram per hectare. Calculate if if the amount of nitrogen and yield has a relationship uh, has a relationship to uh, each other we need to first to calculate the first person r or the r value to calculate that you need to go to data the data is can be found on the top portion of this excel it is in between the formulas and reviews click data and after clicking data go to data analysis okay click data analysis okay after clicking data analysis go to correlation click correlation then click ok then for the input range click all the values including the title or the labels then okay after uh, 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 clicking the values and the label and don't forget to click the labels in the first row then click OK I need just to zoom in then expand some cells okay Okay, we have the value of the person R value between the amount of nitrogen and yield, which is the 0 0.97, okay, and 0 0.84465. This is a too long value. We need to, I need to reduce this number. To reduce that, go to home and click this to reduce the decimal places. I will just do use two decimal places here. Okay, the p value between the amount of nitrogen and yield is 0 0.97. Okay, go back to here. Let's write the r value is 0 0.97 or the person r value. Okay, next is we already identify the person r value between the amount of nitrogen and yield. The question is if it is significant or not to identify if the correlation between the amount of nitrogen and yield has a significant relationship, we need to uh, look for their p-value okay? to identify the significance level or the if it is significant or not, go to data again, click data, then 
still go to data analysis. Then for on the data analysis, go to uh, regression. Okay, click regression and click OK. Okay, for the input range, okay, for the Y value, it is your yield. Okay, for the X value, it is your amount of nitrogen. Okay, after that, don't forget to click labels. Okay, okay, then click OK. After clicking OK, you will have this result. I will just zoom it to make it bigger. Expand some cells. Okay. 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 In regression statistics, in the summary output, you were able to see the multiple R. This multiple R is a, is the person R value between the cor between the correlation of of crop yield and the amount of nitrogen, which is zero point ninety seven. Okay. The question is. Uh, uh, if it is significant or not to identify if our uh, if the uh, of the correlation between the amount of nitrogen and the yield is significant or not go to analysis of variance or ANOVA go to significance F okay if our if the p-value is lower than 0 0.05 it means significant looking this it's 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 i need to reduce it Re reduce the number of decimal places okay 0 0.03 is significant it means that the p value 0 0.03 is less than is less than the 0 0.05 it means uh, our analysis uh, is significant significant okay is significant looking at the p value here below 0 0.023 is just the same on the value of of on the analysis of variance they are identical okay let's go back we already know that the p value is 0 0.30 which is significant okay the p value the p value is 0 0.03 Zero three, okay. We already identify the person R value, which is zero point ninety seven, and it is significant. Significant. However, however, we don't know the strength of relationship. Based on the person R value, the strength of relationship is strong relationship okay this is a strong relationship okay this it is has a strong relationship the amount of nitrogen has a strong and positive relationship to crop yield okay in written in written result there is a significant and strong relationship between the amount of nitrogen and yield. It implies that that the higher amount of nitrogen applied tend to have a higher crop yield. I hope you learned and don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.